All right, guys, welcome back to part five of the free to play series. Before anything, I just want to tell you guys that I came here for a guide on how to get the weekly and permanent torch. I will split it up so that you can jump to a section in the video where you learn specifically that. If you don't follow the series, you just want the guide right now. Just look for it in the timeline. And with that said, I'm going to give you guys a little recap here. you can look at my power rank it's 24,000 now thankfully you guys didn't miss anything super important i will show you the gems quickly here So I have already shown you guys how to upgrade gems, how to get dust, you already know. So you basically missed when I was opening boxes and getting dust and upgrading gems, switching them out and stuff. I will show you how it sounded in the recording because I accidentally had a voice filter on which sounds like an AI or something. I fucked up. <laughs> well, look at this one. This one has the stats we want, but sure, 99 power rank. Uh I wonder how they used to look. And I also did a weekly Dell run at some point there. So I had some Lunar Souls to open more Empowered Gem Boxes. And that's about it. Now I'm here. It's uh, the Surf in Snowfest, which I'm not going to do on this account, obviously, because I'm doing it on my main. But let's get into the importance of this video. I'll put up a list here with sources of light so that you all can follow this. Obviously, I need to get higher level... I need to get like crystal four gear. I need to get better gems. I only have radiance here, so I would need to go to U10. It would be nice if I found some people to leech in Uber 10 or if someone was farming there. So I could get the stellars I need here. And then hopefully roll so you know that I get all the boosters on light. Because look at this. This is radiant. It's 26%. Like I could have so much more light here if this was stellar or crystal and you know higher percentage. With all the boosts on light, this one is no boost on light. It's still bad percentage. So yeah. But also, since this episode is all about the banner, I'm gonna show you now how to get the weekly and permanent torch. Okay, weekly torch. So, you spawn here in any of these Geo Topside worlds. We have the spawn point. We have the Sunseeker Forge here. Go into Sunseeker Torches. And this is the only one we care about. You don't even need to think about these, but they have the same system as this one. So you need three of these to craft it. This is the weekly torch. This expires on Monday reset, gives you 900 light for the week. And then when Monday reset hits, you need to get three of these again so that you can craft this. And then you also need to buy these materials if you don't have them. So we need to get three of these, which always drops from, as you see here, Ifera, Underlord of the Deep. How do you get that? Well, you need to go to U10. You need to have 4,800 light. And you need to have a key. I don't know if this is in here, but at the Leviathan Lair, you can craft a key that you need to open the chest with. So yeah, a lot of steps to get there. But we also have the Delve alternative. If I search for Ifera, comma, Underlord, or is under, you can see here I can buy it. Or if I go to the hub, here in the Delve workbench, we have the Depth Stepper Gateways. At the bottom, you find the Ifera one, which will spawn the Ifera Leviathan as the boss every third floor. To craft this, you need all of these resources. You need to keep some of your private steppers, loot collect some of them to obtain the epic condensed memory, the other memories can be obtained by loot collecting other delve portals you have obtained or mementos that are dropped inside delves at random. You can also look in the delve chat if people are hosting and you are eligible to join or if they let anyone in. Or you can buy a portal from the marketplace here, which I will do now. Now just go somewhere that you have access to build and random people can not just come in. And what is the highest floor I can go? So the highest I can start this at is 110. So that will have to do. Looking for more Ifera Delve 110 to question mark wherever it ends. Slash whisper your light. And we'll say 6k plus for this one. I don't even have 6k, but I'm the one hosting. So I can ask for whatever I want. And we need some decent people to kill these people. Uh, to kill these enemies at 110, because I won't do much damage. 
So now that we're inside, I'm just gonna jump to when I'm obtaining the loot and then show you how to craft it. Okay, and I fucked up. I placed my normal stepper instead of the Pharaoh one. I'm so stupid. So if you don't deal any damage to it, you won't get any torch. But now I managed to deal damage to it, so I got the first daily torch here. Which I'm gonna use for now, since it will give me way more light. And then when we get two more, I'll go back to the crafting forge. <laughs> and guys, I got that daily torch five minutes before the daily reset, so now I don't have any and I need to get three again. We got three, so let's return to the Sunseeker Forge after we open this. Okay, so as you see, I'm just missing these eyes and I searched for them. And the price goes up a lot when you get to these stacks. Um, I should ask in the club if someone can sell me a smaller stack, but let's just try and open these shadow caches first. Okay, I only need one K now. I'm gonna ask in the club. Okay, someone is gonna post it on market, he says, so let's try to snipe it. Alright, we got him. <laughs> now, we craft, and here you can see, 900 light. DK will destroy this item in 4 days and 23 hours since it's Wednesday. So now I have my 900 light here for the week. And then when Monday hits, as I said, you do this again. And now I'm at 4.5k. So that's how you get your weekly torch. Now, how do you get the permanent one? There are two ways. You either just get lucky and drop the torch from a leviathan, and it looks like this. If you go into the bottom tab here, you can see here it is. It has 825 lights, so you will need to upgrade it to one of these using a banner pole and a banner here, or a standard. So you can buy these on market and you can open these from your Delver caches. And then you will look for the one you need, the most used one is getting movement speed and flask capacity or attack speed and flask capacity and then the damage of your class that you want to use it on. The second way of getting your permanent torch is by killing enough leviathans here. As you see, I killed five, so five out of one and then 10, 50, 100 and at 250, you can see there, in shadow the tendril torch. So Either get lucky along the way or kill 250 leviathans and then go back here to craft the one you need. Okay guys, as I'm making this video, we also have this winter event going as I showed in the beginning, I think. I highly recommend you do it because, well, there's a lot of mastery to gain. You get some extra experience, you even get an experience boost banner here. So there's a ton of mastery to get and you also get some presents that you can open when you grind that gives you experience. And then you get these boxes every now and then and these can obtain some really good stuff. So I'm actually just hoarding them on my main right now. So I'm kind of excited to open this on my alt and you see what I get from these two. Like it could be crap, I guess, but it looks like the worst thing is Bound Brilliance. I don't know. I've never played during Christmas, I think. Okay, an Empowered Gem Box and Bound Brilliance, that's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, with my Cubits, I'm still saving up for the Death Defying, I'm very close here. And with the Gems, we need to go to... Let's see, we have Stellar, level 15, 20, that was 25. But wait, I maxed these? Oh shit, I maxed all of these, okay. That's why I have this power rank. Um, yeah, so... Definitely my main goal is getting Fierce Gems here and then getting Fierce Stellar Gems here. So we need Fire Gem boxes. We could try and open these and just see if we get a Fire Gem. I don't have much Flux to work with. Oh wait, well, I should have enough Flux to get some Gems to 15, I guess. Let's just see what we get here. Okay, I saw two Stellar Fires there. Arcane. Oh, look at those stats though. Good stats, bad power rank, and arcane. Oh my god, two arcane with perfect stats. Magic, crit hits, magic, okay. Get these to level 15 for the dust. Here was actually a really good power rank, perfect stats, uh, air gem. I wonder if it's better than this one. Let's go check in a gem forge. And it's a high, okay, this one is really good percentage wise. 
Oh my god, but so is this one. But the boosts were on crit hit, which is worse, but... Wow. This one's good too. I think I'll just use this one because this has a little bit more power rank. Use this one instead. And now that puts me above 100% crit hit at the moment. I have, I have boosts on crit hit, which I shouldn't have, obviously, so... It's not optimal, but now at least I know I will crit every time, so we don't need Sure Strike anymore. Uh, I don't have anything else to use at the moment, so whatever. And I'm out of Flux, and I don't even care. I'm just gonna loot collect all of this. Like, I, yeah, So obviously I need to keep leveling these. I have a lot of dust to do it, but no Flux, so I would need to go do Flux Farming. Do I want to go Flux Farming? No, I don't. So... A last thing, just for you guys, I'm gonna go to U10, see if I can leech someone off some dungeons, and see if we can get some uh, stellar gems here. Seem to be some people here. Yeah, this guy. Oh, he's doing presents. Yeah, so that was the event thing. Got another one of these. Let's open it up. 15 crystalline cores. Wow, these boxes are so good. Where did he go? So yeah, as you can see from a U10 cosmic box, we can get a stellar cosmic. Oh my god, I got one. Okay, that's... That's like decent, but it's arcane obviously, so I can't use that. But yeah, I'm gonna leech this guy a little bit, and then I'll come back to you. Then I'll come back to you to see if we can get some replacements there. Okay, so when I'm leeching these guys, I realize these present dungeons are what gives these mystery boxes. This will actually be a great way for you to earn Flux or Mastery, or just more of those uh, super good boxes that I showed. Because inside of these, you can get the other box, or like recipes, I think. Oh yeah, you can get the, the recipes for the event from those boxes. So, uh, I kind of need to go on my main, actually. Um, I'm not really sure what to do now, because now I've showed you guys the the banners, how to get gems, everything. Just gonna open these, as I promised. This is only seven boxes, I was thinking I was gonna do more. Yeah, so we got nothing. But yeah, with this event, I really want to farm on my main account. I really want to get everything in the Snowfest table. I feel like the only thing I haven't shown is like geode which i've said that i don't want to do because that is very time consuming and then it doesn't really yield me anything because i think there are already great guides for that and it's nothing i want to achieve on this account i just wanted the you know show the grand experience like the, the beginning and how to get more power rank so you can kind of tackle the game on your own and now i've shown the banner thing i've shown the gear i've shown gems how to get dust I don't have anything I want to achieve with this account at the moment. So I'm going to ask you guys, do you want me to make videos from my main account and what I do on that one or anything like my daily quest routine or I don't know what I should even show or just what I will do when a new event comes out. Should I be one of the five YouTubers showing like the quest uh, tutorial? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore. So... Uh, yeah, leave a comment what you think I should show, because I don't even know myself anymore. I'm still planning on making a guide on how to build all the classes, though. So, uh, yeah, I was just waiting for the star shard thing to come out and settle. So a class guide or a class build guide will come. Other than that, it's, it's, it's in your hands and what you want to see. And also in my hands if I want to do it. So, yeah, give me tips and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.